Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Right now I'm here in the Philippines. I'm vacationing with my family and we're celebrating a very special occasion, my mom's birthday. One of the norms here is to go to a buffet restaurant. It's a new phenomenon whenever somebody has a birthday. It's unlimited food. All types of different cuisines are going to be laid out to you. So you just have to pay a certain amount and you can keep coming back and coming back. And it's not just limited to one restaurant here in the Philippines. There's a lot of them. We all decided to go to one that's called Vikings for a couple of reasons. One, it's very popular. Two, it's quite near to where we live. I haven't tried it so I want to try it myself. I've done eat all you can buffets before but this one seems to be very elaborate and you can already see from outside that there's a lot of people who are lining up to get in there and if you haven't done so yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well so that you can see more helpful videos just like this one. All right so enough said let's dig in. There's a long queue that you can see outside initially. I think if you book ahead, then you don't have to line up like this. Because right now our number is like number 70. They're only calling for number 37. And we've been here for a good amount of time, for about 45 minutes now. But if waiting for a long time is not your thing, then don't walk in. Call ahead, reserve. If you see all of the people waiting behind me, they're probably all walk-ins as well. I mean, it better be good for this kind of wait time, right? I just want to give you a heads up on how much the things are. For adults, it's like 938. Today's a holiday, so it's about the thousand pesos. A little bit shy of $20 per head. And if you have kids below three feet, then they don't pay at all. Alright, so quick update. We've decided to give up on Vikings because the line's just not moving. We're gonna go to a different place called Yaki Mix. I think it's the same price point as well. That's actually a good thing that you have choices. If one of the venues that you wanted to go to fails, then you just move on to a different spot because there's a lot of them. But pro tip, make sure you call ahead if you can so you can avoid what just happened to us. They specialize in it says sushi, smokeless grill, that kind of thing. They're considerably cheaper than what we saw upstairs. It seems like whenever it's a holiday, the prices for the buffets also go up. Lunch and dinner, it's $7.58 for adults. It's about $15. And for any other day that's not a holiday, it's even cheaper. So that already includes eating and drinking all you can. But there are some conditions though. You gotta shell out a 5% service charge. Luckily now it's a much shorter wait time than the other one. They were telling me it's a good second choice anyway. I'll do the very same thing. We're just gonna continue the video here. You get as much as you can, you get whatever. That already includes your drinks. There's only some restrictions. If you have a leftover, they charge you like a big amount of money. I know to expect everything but not candies. Here you can see gummy worms, you can see like little candies for little kids. A lot of choices actually, you can have fruits, you got Japanese, you got like some Filipino food as well, some Chinese food. It's a pretty reasonable price tag for the buffet that they're offering. I'm definitely gonna come back for a second or third plate so I could get my money's worth, right? If you haven't tried one of these, you gotta learn how to pace yourself because you don't want to eat too much bread or you don't want to eat too much rice, even have a lot of liquids or else you're gonna lose out because otherwise you're gonna be bloated, you're not gonna be able to consume the solids. You know, try and be smart about it. Every time somebody has a birthday as well, they ask you, they check with you so that they can do a little performance, they do a little dance for you. They also put up a little card so that people could say it's your birthday and they dance to you, literally. The atmosphere is really lively. It's like a really festive atmosphere. If you want to eat at peace with your family or by yourself, don't go here. It's going to be noisy and people are going to bother you. That's the way that the environment is, right? The kids seem to love it a lot because they're really entertained by the dancing, by the music that's playing in the background as well. They even give out balloons to the little kids. If you have kids in your family, I highly recommend it.
So I gotta mention in every table you have a grill as well. For longer tables like the one that we have, we have two grills actually. They call them a smokeless grill because even if smoke comes out, it goes to the side and underneath. It kind of gets sucked into the table itself. There's no smoke around the restaurant because everything is contained within. Unlike other buffets where it's really smoky, it gets to be smoky when there's a lot of people cooking. Now I'm literally struggling to eat more. We've gone into the dessert space and there's a lot of it too. You got ice cream, you got candies, you got cakes. One thing I was a little bit worried about was the leftover fee but it seems like they don't really enforce it because I see a lot of plates that's like being left unattended and there's still a lot of things in it but they don't really say anything. I guess they're not that serious about it. It says in the sign so it's about a thousand pesos, you know, a significant amount of money. No takeout as well, another basic condition. And no sharing as well. That's well calculated for just one person. And if you share the dish that you paid for, that's not really being fair, right? Order to 10 and it's closing time. You can see the people cleaning up. I'm like super full. I was really struggling to eat some more, but you know, I had to to make it worth it. Just like any other buffet, make sure you have a good appetite before you go here. Bill just came in, so our party is six adults and three kids. All we spent is 3,760 pesos. Seven $52.30 So what do you think of this buffet style restaurants in the Philippines? Did you think it was too expensive? Did you like the food selection that you saw? Is this something that you like? You don't like? Leave your comments below. We promise we're gonna read each and every single one of them. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and do so so that you can see more useful videos just like this one. By the way, we're also big on social media. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook so that you can see stories about our travels and our lives in real time. And just like usual, go ahead and like and share this video as well. That's really gonna help us out. Alright, so that's it. We're heading home. Good night and see you in the next one. Bye!